Hi, welcome to evening prayer for Friday, April 28th. Thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us humbly confess our sins to Almighty God. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done. And apart from your grace, there is no health in us. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare all those who confess their faults. Restore all those who are penitent according to your promises declared to all people in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may now live a godly, righteous, and sober life. To the glory of your holy name. Amen. Grant to your faithful people, merciful Lord, pardon and peace, that we may be cleansed from all our sins and serve you with a quiet mind. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O Lord, make speed to save us. Or, O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. O gladsome light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices. O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. We'll be reading Psalm 136. O give thanks unto the Lord, for he is gracious, for his mercy endures forever. O give thanks unto the, unto the God of all gods, for his mercy endures forever. O give thanks unto the Lord of all lords, for his mercy endures forever. Who alone does great wonders, for his mercy endures forever? Who by his excellent wisdom made the heavens, for his mercy endures forever? Who laid out the earth above the waters, for his mercy endures forever? Who made the great lights, for his mercy endures forever? The sun to rule the day, for his mercy endures forever. The moon and the stars to govern the night, for his mercy endures forever. Who struck down the firstborn of, his, of Egypt, for his mercy endures forever, and brought out Israel from among them, for his mercy endures forever, with a mighty hand and an outstretched arm, for his mercy endures forever. Who divided the Red Sea into two parts, for his mercy endures forever, and made Israel to pass through the midst of it, for his mercy endures forever. But as for Pharaoh and his host, he overthrew them in the Red Sea for his mercy endures forever. Who led his people through the wilderness, for his mercy endures forever. Who smote great kings, for his mercy endures forever. And slew mighty kings, for his mercy endures forever. Sion, king of the Amorites, for his mercy endures forever. And Og, the king of Bashan, for his mercy endures forever. And gave away their land for an inheritance, for his mercy endures forever even for an inheritance for Israel, his servant, for his mercy endures forever. Who remembered us when we were in trouble, for his mercy endures forever. And delivered us from our enemies, for his mercy endures forever. Who gives food to all flesh, for his mercy endures forever. O give thanks unto the God of heaven, for his mercy endures forever. O give thanks unto the Lord of lords, for his mercy endures forever. Psalm 137. By the waters of Babylon we sat down and wept when we remembered you, O Zion. As for our harps, we hung them up upon the trees that are therein. For those who led us away captive required, us, required of us a song and melody in our heaviness. Sing us one of the songs of Zion. How shall we sing the Lord's song in the land of our captivity? If I forget you, O Jerusalem, let my right hand forget its skill. If I do not remember you, let my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth. 
If I prefer not Jerusalem above my dearest joy, remember the children, the children of Edom, O Lord, in the day of Jerusalem, how they said, down with it, down with it, even to the ground. O daughter of Babylon, wasted with misery, happy shall be the one who rewards you as you have done to us. Blessed shall he be who takes your children and throws them against the stones. Psalm 138. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with my whole heart. Even before the gods will I sing praises to you. I will worship toward your holy temple and praise your name because of your loving kindness and truth. For you have magnified your name and your word above all things. When I called upon you, you heard me and gave me increase of strength. All the kings of the earth shall praise you, O Lord, for they have heard the words of your mouth. They shall sing of the ways of the Lord, that great is the glory of the Lord. For though the Lord be high, yet he has respect, respect for the lowly. As for the proud, he holds them from afar. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, yet shall you refresh me. You shall stretch forth your hand among, or upon the furiousness of my enemies, and your right hand shall save me. The Lord shall make good his loving kindness toward me. Your mercy, O Lord, endures forever. Despise not the works of your own hands. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. A reading from the book of Job, beginning with the 27th chapter, the first verse. And Job again took up his discourse and said, As God lives, who has taken away my right, and the Almighty, who has made my soul bitter, as long as my breath is in me, and the Spirit of God is in my nostrils, my lips will not speak falsehood, and my tongue will not utter deceit. Far be it from me to say that you are right. Till I die, I will not put away my integrity from me. I hold fast my righteousness and will not let it go. My heart does not reproach me for, for any of my days. Let my enemy be as the wicked, and let him who rises up against me be as the unrighteous. For what is the hope of the godless when God cuts him off, when God takes away his life? Will God hear his cry when distress comes upon him? Will he take delight in the Almighty? Will he call upon God at all times? I will teach you concerning the hand of God. What is with the Almighty I will not conceal. Behold, all of you have seen it yourselves. Why then have you become altogether vain? This is the portion of a wicked man with God and the heritage that oppressors receive from the Almighty. If his children are multiplied, it is for the sword, and his descendants have not enough bread. Those who survive him, the pestilence buries, and his widows do not weep. Though he heap up silver like dust and pile up clothing like clay, he may pile it up, but the righteous will wear it. And the innocent will divide the silver. He built his house like a moth, like a booth, that a watchman makes. He goes to bed rich, but will do so no more. He opens his eyes and his wealth is gone. Terrors overtake him like a flood. In the night, a whirlwind carries him off. The east wind lifts him up and he is gone. It sweeps him out of his place. It hurls at him without pity. He flees from its power in headlong flight. It claps its hands at him and hisses at him from its place. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has regarded the lowliness of his handmaiden. For behold, from now on, all generations will call me blessed. For he that is mighty has magnified me, and holy is his name, and his mercy is on those who fear him. Throughout all generations, he has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He has brought down the mighty from their thrones and has exalted the humble and meek. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has sent empty away. He, remembering his mercy, has helped his servant Israel, as he promised to our fathers Abraham and his seed forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. A reading from the Epistle of St. James beginning with the second chapter, first verse. My brothers, show no partiality as you hold the faith in your 
in our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of glory. For if a man wearing a gold ring and fine clothing comes into your assembly, and a poor man in shabby clothing also comes in, and if you pay attention to the one who wears the fine clothing and say, you sit here in a good place, while you say to the poor man, you stand over there or sit down at my feet, have you not then made distinctions among yourselves and become judges with evil thoughts? Listen, my beloved brothers, has not God chosen those who are poor in the world to be rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom, which he has promised to those who love him? But you have dishonored the poor man. Are not the rich the ones who oppress you and the ones who drag you into court? Are they not the ones who blaspheme the honorable name by which you were called? If you really fulfill the royal law according to the scripture, you shall love your neighbor as yourself, you are doing well. But if you show partiality, you are committing sin and are convicted by the law as transgressors. Forever keeps the whole law but fails in one point has become guilty of all of it. For he who said, do not commit adultery, also said, do not commit murder. If you do not commit adultery, but do murder, you have become a transgressor of the law. So speak and so act as those who are to be judged under the law of liberty. For judgment is without mercy to one who has shown no mercy. Mercy triumphs over judgment. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, now let your servant depart in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of your people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, show your mercy upon us and grant us your salvation. O Lord, guide those who govern us and lead us in the way of justice and truth. Clothe your ministers with righteousness and let your people sing with joy. O Lord, save your people and bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, and defend us by your mighty power. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and take not your Holy Spirit from us. A collect for the Friday after the third Sunday of Easter. Almighty God, you gave your only Son to be for us both a sacrifice for sin and an example of godly living. Give us grace, thankfully, to receive his inestimable, inestimable benefits and daily to follow the blessed steps of his most holy life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A Collect for Faith Lord Jesus Christ, by your death you took away the sting of death. Grant us, your servants, so to follow in faith where you have led the way that we may at length fall asleep peacefully in you and wake up in your likeness. So for your tender mercy's sake, amen. A prayer for mission. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ, give rest to the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, 
shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. At this time, we'll take 30 seconds for any intercessions or prayers that we might have. And we'll do the general thanksgiving all together. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions, as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and the age to come life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Good night.